now we have understood making an ajax call right the basic ajax call we have understood right the what i can say is the native javascript ajax calls and the jquery ajax calls has some features we have seen the advantages of the jquery ajax it has a lot of options it is a very flexible we have seen that it is very flexible so now we are able to understand it very easily so we are able to give through the object what is the type of these type of uh, options we don't have in that in those things so we can implement it but it takes lot of lot of efforts for that one so now the other type of options which doesn't have in the native javascript fetch api and all those things is the <clears throat> is the interceptors so these type of concepts you will be not having so global ajax functions you will not have so that is the thing which i will try to explain to you so there are some couple of handy methods which are available in the jquery so first one is the ajax start so this is the global methods okay so ajax start so this method will invoke whenever any ajax call any ajax call started any ajax call starts and another one ajax stop so this one will start this is also a global method when all the ajax has been completed so when all the ajax completed this ajax stop will invoke ajax send ajax send means so this is also a global method so when any ajax call sent to the server okay sent to the server then ajax send will invoke in the same way we have another one is ajax success so these are all global methods so this is also a global method so when any ajax success is, has been happened so any ajax call any ajax call so whenever you are trying to make an ajax call success happened this ajax success will in uh, will invoke another one is an ajax complete complete is nothing but this is also a global method any ajax call completed okay apart from those met complete method also this ajax complete also will invoke if you implement this one global method and last one is an ajax error if any error occurs in any ajax call this method will invoke okay so these are global methods which are available in the jquery so which are not available in the javascript native or fetch api and all those things first let's try to see this ajax start how it will have function so for example let's say that here i can use something like dollar of okay document dot ajax start okay here you will be able to see the options right so here these are all options we will be able to see so now first one is an ajax start we are able to learn ajax start so this one will take a function and here you can say that ajax started let's try to see so now we are trying to call a get post so that is nothing but this method we are trying to call it so whenever you are calling an ajax call so before starting this one will execute so if you try to see the output see ajax started and now we are afterwards we are able to get an output let's try to call add po add post also so two ajax calls i am trying to call now if you see here so here ajax started and next onwards it is not trying to call it so see so whenever a first ajax call is started then you will be able to do some initializations and all those things you can do it in that function and then afterwards you can do these all ajax calls and all those things so here add post i think some so that means whenever before calling an ajax call so first time it will execute this ajax started so if you want to do any initializations and all those things so here you will be able to see this all url right so url initializations then all those things you can start here you can do it and another one is an ajax stop okay so ajax stop ajax stop so ajax all ajax completed so we are trying to make two ajax calls so now if you try to see here see now ajax started is there first time it is invoked so i am calling two ajax calls one is a get request and another one is a post request and this one is also completed so this is a complete request which is available in the <coughs> dot always here so for this dot always it is there and this for this dot always is there and this is an all ajax completed you will be able to see here this is executed at the last so a jquery maintains a queue of ajax calls what are the list of ajax calls that are going to be executed and after completing all those jquery ajax in the queues then it will execute this all ajax completed so when you want to do any cleanup and all those things so when after all the ajax calls is completed means you can implement this one in one time in the ajax stop here so this is an ajax stop and another one is an ajax send we have already seen so ajax send so this one will be called twice so whenever you are trying to send a single request 
so ajax send so before sending uh, sorry after sending it will try to try to ajax sent okay now you see now we are trying to send two two requests we are trying to call two requests get post and add post so when we call this get post so ajax start will be started and after completing all these things ajax stop will be but before say before calling each ajax call this one will execute not before calling so when it is sent or successfully sent so here you'll be able to see see ajax sent and ajax sent so this is sent to the server it is waiting for getting the response now here you after getting the response these are all executed so when you when when the uh, when the call is sent to the server you want to do some actions or anything means so you can do this ajax sent so you can show some progress bar for example you will be having a progress bar in the uh, something like this so for example you will be having a progress bar uh, so here started okay uh, so trying to send the data so sent successfully sent so sent means you can show some progress bar 10 percent 20 percent like this so successfully sent now when it is completed so it is com completed means so now here we can show the 75 percent now after success means we got successfully the data like this so for showing this one also we can use these all things now for example let's say that another one is ajax success so like this we can implement all those things ajax success means so this one for every done pay for every done thing so you can also use a global ajax success ajax complete ajax error these all things you can use it so for example let's say that ajax success I will try to show you Ajax success. Okay. So now, if you try to see this Ajax success, now Ajax success. For every Ajax success, you will be able to get this. See here, after completing this one, Ajax success, and after completing this one, Ajax success. Now you want to get this data. You want to get this data in this Ajax success means. So here you will be having some event chart and also some settings so you'll be having three parameters so we can console.log event what if what is the type of request it has been made for, for example let's say that this type of request is a get request and the type of request is a post request so here in this event you will be able to identify what is the type of request we got okay and also here xhr is nothing but here you will be having the response and all the things so here we'll try to see each one by one i don't know exactly we'll try to see so here you'll be able to see see jQuery event, the Ajax success and all those things we are able to see this event and here XHR, it is XHR, yeah, so this is XHR and here we are able to see the response text, yeah, see this is the response JSON, so here you will be able to see the response JSON, see and in the same scenario for the second one also we are able to get this one and here the response JSON is nothing but the post request, so that means using this global function we can also capture the data so here the data whenever this one is executed immediately this one got executed right we can able to get the data here and we can do some manipulations instead of doing done here we can also do it manipulations here depending on the type of request so we'll get all the details we can do all those things settings also it has some data i don't know so we'll try to see so depending on the requirement we will try to analyze this all things yeah here in the settings we are able to get what is the type of url we have made it okay in the settings we are getting event is nothing so what is the content type we have called it and what is the uh, url we have made it and what is the data we got it what are the data types and here we are able to get all the data what is the type we have made it and for the top one you will be able to get what is the type is the get request what is the url we have made and what is the response we are getting so these are all the things we are able to see here so these are all the global functions which are available in the jquery and using these global functions we can do the logic here globally so whenever you want to make, uh, execute the some of the actions say globally means you can use this ajax start when it started so these are all different layers or life cycle we can see so each phase of life cycle before starting and uh, after completion of all the ajax calls for each sending of the request when we got a success in the same scenario complete and error also will be seen like this only it will also take the event etc and settings and you will get the errors and you can do it so if you want to show some global error at the top means for every ajax error if it is fails so instead of writing in each error method okay here and here like this instead of writing each places you can use some document dot ajax error and you can show that global error so any ajax fails means it will execute that ajax error will execute and you can show that one so like this these are handy methods which are which are available in the jquery not only in the jquery so all the libraries we whatever the ajax libraries we are having so those are all the things it will be we will be having these all things so where we will not have we, these are not available in the javascript native functions so that is the main thing which you need to understand